Hey there, VC. Good morning. Uh, good day. Good afternoon. Good evening. Or good night. Whenever or if ever you are watching this video. Cheers. It's Saturday evening, at least here anyway. Let me see if I can adjust the camera a bit so I, I don't look bored. What's playing in the background <coughs> is what has kept me from uh, the VC the past few weeks. Our new album is out. Planet Master God's new album, There Are Snakes in These Woods. 250 copies on vinyl with a printed inner sleeve lyrics and yours truly somewhere somewhere yeah here somewhere never mind we are pleased with uh, how the LP edition turned out Custom labels oh. <laughs> And uh, I'm happy to say that the sales have been going uh, well for us We're a little band and uh, 250 copies might not seem big but uh, to us to us that's quite enough So if you want to check us out we are on uh, Spotify as well, so you can listen to us for free. We also have some cool t shirts Planet Master God. And what's funny is that all the XXLs are sold out, so uh, I guess our fans are overweight just like me. Well, enough uh, blabbering and chit-chatting about myself. This video is uh, all about uh, German progressive experimental uh, rock, also known as crowd rock. And now I have uh, nine LPs to show you. First off, the Mighty Can, and this is, uh, I guess this is an, an official version of uh, the Lost Tapes. A box set which was released a couple of years ago. This is a single LP, but a good, good one, uh, mind you. Can don't need no introduction. If you if you're into psychedelic music, experimental music, you know who Can are. So a nice addition to my Can section. Yeah, another unofficial uh, release. It's a bootleg of a bootleg. Trademark of quality. It's a bootleg of the bootleg label. Trademark of quality. <laughs> so a double boot. It's Amundul, a live recording from 1969 in München, November 17th. And uh, the album is called Lua Lua Hey. And this is uh, not Amundul 2, it's Amundul, uh, the hippie commune, <laughs> which uh, of course gave birth to Amundul 2, but these were the more uh, acid laden, the more incompetent musicians, which resulted in uh, highly experimental music. So it should be a fun listen. A reissue I'm very pleased to have uh, added to my collection is uh, Ardu Dumbeck's only album with a magnificent cover art, ice cream with a cactus inside, all bloody. And this is uh, a reissue on the fabulous uh, reissue label Garden of Delights. Which is a go-to reissue label. I've been uh, going on about uh, the long hair label, but uh, you ought to know about Garden of uh, Delights. Always with a nice 
printed insert, the pictures, and the bio of the band. And uh, Ardu Dombek was originally released in 1971 on the famous Pilts label, a sort of uh, progressive uh, rock outfit with some jazz rock tinges. They have a horn section, but uh, it works magnificently. So, if you're not ready to shell out uh, those big bucks for an original, the Garden of Delights uh, reissue from 2019 actually is, uh, is the way to go. Excellent band. Another excellent uh, progressive experimental band from Germany was the band called Haze. They released only one album on the uh, legendary Bacillus label and uh, the cover is a uh, sort of a gimmick cover. It's, uh, the album is called Haze Color Dia and the cover is supposed to be a, a dia, a slide. So if you look into the light you can see through, through the cover. I don't know if it will show but uh, just a wonderful, uh, crazy, heavy, progressive uh, with blues rock elements, but the vocalist is out of this world. It's an acquired taste, his vocals, but uh, either you love it or you hate it. This is a long hair reissue, which uh, they have reproduced the original cover art exactly as uh, the first issue. Cheers! Mm. By the way, I will do a couple of needle drops of a couple of uh, the albums I show at the end of the video, I guess. A nice issue from uh, Long Hair, not the reissue. This time around, they have uh, dug up some recordings from the archive. SWF session 1971. My Solid Ground released just one album on the uh, Bacillus label, which is awesome space rock, progressive space rock. And this is, uh, this is a nice collection of uh, bonus material, not released back in the day. So, go grab it while you can. Long hair, as I mentioned before, always do nice uh, issues, always with the inserts. And I have never had any problem with the pressings or sound quality, so do check it out. I guess you know my solid ground if you know Krautrock. Another grail to be. It's uh, on my want list. I have the album from before and now I have another unofficial reissue of Agitation Tree's second album. But this is an exact reproduction of their uh, second album, of course, on the Vertigo Swirl label. A magnificent, uh, spacey, melodic prog rock album. And why did I bother to uh, buy a bootleg well because a near mint original will set me back about five to six hundred euros and this showed up and played for 20 euros so uh, you do the math and by the way the other bootleg issue I have sounded crappy so I thought why the hell not now we're getting into the last three and the grail section. Three originals I want to show you and give you needle drops from. First off, we have Epsilon and their first album from 1971, self-titled. And uh, Epsilon, they were a quartet. If I, yes, a quartet. Hammond organ, guitar, bass, drums and vocals. And this is awesome, heavy prog rock, just magnificent. Uh, 
Epsilon released a couple of albums. I have their second album as well, which I do not remember the title of, but uh, that's equally as awesome. Uh, EFG uh, Epsilon. Mm. Yes, here it is. Epsilon Move On. That's another album to get. This is the original issue on uh, the White Bacillus label, which is an interesting label. Started off in 1971 and released only nine albums, I think, in 1971 before going bankrupt and they were scooped up by Bellafon Records, which uh, released all the back, uh, Bacillus back catalogue in 1972 and onwards on the coloured Bacillus Bellophone label. So never buy a Bacillus album from 1971 with a coloured label believing it's a first press. But what can be said about the music? Some classical moves uh, started off as a uh, the nice clone band, but evolved into uh, their own sound, and uh, this album is very accomplished, I think. Uh, a cover of uh, Painted Black by Rolling Stone, which is so-so, but uh, it was a popular tune to cover back in uh, Germany in the early 70s. Virus had already done a cover of uh, Painted Black. But uh, let's listen to a sound sample and uh, then we shall go on. Next up, an album I have featured before, but now I have finally found an original. Shin and their only LP from 1972. This is awesome, awesome, hard and heavy, jangly, scruffy rock, progressive rock, some psychedelic moves, but not too psychedelic, even though Cover, even though the cover suggests that, but uh, a kind of Salvador Dali like cover, but uh, this is awesome from start to finish. Not a dull moment on this one. From the growling vocals to the guitar riffing and the pounding drums. And the party ends with a fabulous uh, cover version of uh, For Your Love by Yardbird. So, this is definitely one to check out. Sadly, they didn't release any more LPs. They had released a couple of singles before this under another band name. Uh, this is uh, from 72, so it is supposed to be on the colored Bacillus Bellafon label. But just let's, let us listen to Chin.
Okay, last up for today is a band I just recently found out about a couple of months ago and I tracked down an original copy and now we're in for the hard organ drenched uh, stereotypical uh, progressive rock. This is a duo, 69 they were called. And it features uh, Armin Stöve on the uh, organ, piano, synthesizer, guitar and vocals. Almost no guitar, actually, but... Uh, and Roland Schupp on drums, percussion and gongs. So this is a duo, mainly organ and drums driven, but it's fabulous. Heavy, heavy organ prog. So if you're into that swirling uh, Hammond organ bonanza, this is it. Uh, and much better than Emerson, Lake and Palmer, mind you. This original fortunately had the original poster as well. I will try to show you without breaking it. A nice big six panel poster. So that's an awesome, awesome uh, addition to the original Crowd Rock section. Uh, released on the Philips label. So you would think there are many copies floating around, but uh, no. These are quite hard to come by. They released another album uh, in 74 called uh, Live, a double album. And then they disappeared from uh, the music scene. But this debut album, Circle of the Crayfish, is awesome if you're into heavy organ prog. So just uh, let us have a listen to 69. And uh, thanks for watching. Always uh, nice to be here in the VC. I've been watching some videos, but uh, I haven't been too active lately. But I'll try to. Uh, I try to remedy that this autumn. Bye for now, thanks for watching.